Good morning, this is Stephen Rosley here at the Center, and today's Rosley Rock Report is going to be on one of my favorite stones, selenite. You can read what it does through what we wrote here, and we're just going to go through and show you different types of selenite and explain how we came about the crystal grid. Just above us here, as you can see, we have a nice selenite log. And this one weighs, what, 27 pounds? That's a beauty. And then over here, we have the selenite sticks. These we use for the mini grids, and they're portable. As you can see here, in this grid, we have stick tight. It's for awareness inside the selenite so nothing negative can get in here so if you put your stones or crystals or maybe even expand it a little bit making it larger for example I will show you I can stand in this grid and get the stick tight awareness grid really beautiful and then the next grid we're going to look at is this one. The stones at the side always have to be aligned with each of the um, stones on the outer perimeter. So it sends that energy around. This is ametrine. It's for a psychic enhancement. And basically um, the grids are by the stone, and here let's move this guy out a little bit, and like that, and like that. And this one is an aquamarine grid with the selenite sticks. It's for expression and tolerance. Boy, I could use a little more tolerance when it comes to my kids, can't you? And then here we got a little one. Uh, this one is a diopside. The Mother, Gaia, Earth Healing Grid. Now just remember, this is just small. We can put these selenite sticks uh, four feet, five feet apart, as long as they're aligned with the crystal on the outside. That's how that works. Over here, we have another grid. This one is with rose quartz from Madagascar. Um, it looks like it's got, uh, uh, let's see, what could this be? Um, oh, this is great, uh, this is a blue appetite, and of course in the center, what we have is a Kuan Yin made out of sherolite. That's a stone I found out of Roswell, New Mexico. This is a rose quartz and chrysocolla. Grief, Trauma, Forgiveness, Self-Love Grid. And this one, it's 117. Um, all crystals I've ever felt. This is Candle Quartz from Madagascar. And here we have a power grid. As you can see, this is Amber Sunstone. This is a power grid. The sunstone is from Tanzania. <clears throat> the amber, of course, comes from the only place to get amber, and that's the Baltic region. And then we have a very large candle quartz. But remember, these can be separated by feet. And then we have over here a celestite. This is an angel grid. Um, you can also put a stone in the center. And then we have another one. This is a black tourmaline grid for protection. And then of course, the one that got me involved with all the different stones and crystals was my crystal grid. This is my white light energy grid that I came out with at the uh, Heaven and Earth Convention in 
Burlington, Vermont in the mid 90s and it came to me at night. There's a video on YouTube that explains it. But we have, this is the giant large grid, seven wand selenites, seven chunks of celestite from Putin Bay, Ohio, extremely rare, I think I'm the only person that has it, a very large candle quartz. Now what you can do with this is you can meditate in it. We have a lot of healers that buy these and put it around their energy working area so that it's a white light chamber. Nothing negative can get in here. Even if my ex-wife would come here and she would step into it like I am and stand over it, there would be no negativity inside, but all her negativity would be waiting on the outside to get in or to wait for her to come out. So she comes out and back again, we got it. If you have any questions about selenite, please send it to info at crystalmaster.com. And uh, if you get a chance, sign up for the Rock Club. We do a newsletter. goes out every Monday morning to over 2,500 people. We believe in keeping you informed of what the stones and crystals can do. Thanks again. You have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.